हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून होप यू ऑल डूइंग गुड सो टू द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ रेडीज एग्जाम्पल्स वी विल सी टूडे रेडीज एज ए कैश एग्जाम्पल विद स्प्रिंग बोट एप्लीकेशन सो इन इन अर्लियर वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज रेडीज इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ इट कैन बी यूज इन अ डिफरेंट वेज सो टूडे वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन यूज रेडीज कैश इन अ स्प्रिंग बोट एप्लीकेशन सो रेडीज कैश इज a very highly available data which will make you sure that you access the data very frequently and it is available very very fast so there is a low latency and increased throughput as well and load time will be very less so we store in a data in the cache because we want to access it very frequently and that load time will be very less so that is the main basic idea of any cache which you are going to use so redis has a, a definitely a advantage over there with the compared to other caches as well so redis being used as a cache in lot of applications as well so with the spring boot there are some of the few annotations which you have to remember what is uh, how you are going to use this redis cache as well so basic is like we are enabling the caching here at the application level so that enable caching and add cacheable add cache port and cache await so add cacheable is like where we want to fetch a data we'll add add cacheable at that particular method like fetching a data get whatever it you have add cache port is like while you are inserting or updating a data so that your data whenever you insert or update data that has to be cached again that has to be updated in the cache so because at cacheable you already cached the data but after that you are updating some data so that has to be replicated there so that's why you will use that cache put in that particular those method like updating and inserting a method so that that record get updated automatically in the uh, existing cache so cache evict is like you have to remove the cache some something like you have deleted some data so you don't no longer you don't need to be in the Uh, part of the cache, so you can just remove that cache from that. So I'll just show you the what are the dependencies currently I am having from the last example. So it's just a more or less same dependencies with the same versions of a Spring and everything. It's just an extension of last example. So if you see, I just added a one more implementation of a dependency here, like Spring Boot Starter Cache with the Redis already is in place with the cache. so what i'm trying to say is here like you can just use existing dependencies with a spring boot or starter cache but only thing i have added extra over here is like if you see the redis configuration i added a custom configuration for here redis cache manager which will take a, our cache which will be valid for 60 seconds so you can keep it whatever you want generally for example purpose demo purpose i have kept it as a 60 seconds so clearly you can see that entry ttl is like time to live ttl is means time to live that is 60 seconds so whatever you cache that will be available for 60 seconds after that again it will go for a, a database set and everything so until unless you have called a next method again to cache it out there so time to live is a 60 seconds now so now let us come to a our product controller like a controller configuration if you see my controller configuration what i did is like i added a one method to have a cacheable that is nothing but find by id i'm just trying to fetch a, a product by id that is how i cached it okay what i did is like i removed or cache evict i used wherever i'm deleting a product id particularly and the one more important thing is like i want to clear all the caches which is available i just added for a testing purpose for a demo purpose if you can see i'm trying to get all the caches which are already application is using and trying to clear it as soon as i clear it in this cache it will again go back to the particular uh, cache method and fetch it from there so so again it will cache back so i'll clear it i'll show with a demonstration of example so i already started my application here so if you see uh, i have a swagger example like the previous one so just to see so i'll just try to get all the product now so if you see i'm trying to get all the product so product currently we have 1 2 and 5 so if you see Uh, product one to five. I'm trying to get it all here from the database. It gets called and get it from the database because I don't have that cache method as, at at the get or fetch method. So if you see, it will call again the database. So get all product. So it is calling the database now because I don't have a uh, any caching mechanism here. So now what I'll try to do is I'll try to fetch a one ID from the existing values or list of products which is cached method here like a defined by code. so let us identify like one is the code which i am trying to use now what i'll do is like i am trying to fetch by that code okay let me see if i do the fetch one execute so what it does it is fetched now so what it does is now so it fetched from the database because it is the first time now so now let us see 
on the second time is it fetching from the database no if you see it is not fetching from the database if you go to the our product service i i added it for example here so it is given so all the details here so if you see all the data here what i added here for example data retrieved from the return to database but i whatever i do now so now again see it is not fetching from the database at all because it's already in the cache so what how many times you do it just gets from the database until unless i clear that cache or it until unless it's a one minute which i'm trying to do trying to configure in the redis configuration here so now for example let me see uh, if i try to do uh, let me see if i try to clear all the cache so i have a clear method here just for a demo purpose okay you don't need to use it in in real time because there are other mechanism to clear a cache and everything so if you see i'm just trying to clear a cache and everything so let me see to try to so now i cleared the cache so now what it is says that cache name is product is cleared now so what is the cache name is product because i cached it here as a product so that why clear data will be fetched from the database now so what i'll do is now i will go to fetch by id now what i'll do i'll try to fetch it again so if you see it here again you see the logs product controller and it is fetched from the database now because you cleared the cache now there is no cache exists so that's why it is cleared from the database so if you see that it's it's called only once before so now it is the word one it is again fetching it from the cache itself so this is the basic understanding of how you have to use a cache and how to clear a cache and how you can uh, manipulate the time to live uh, where according to your application and there are other ways to like configure your uh, like a scheduling and other your cache and everything you can automatically remove from the that particular scheduling using a scheduling to remove the cache and everything this is just a basic example to understand how you can use redis as a cache with a spring boot, boot application so in the future we will come up with a more advanced caching mechanisms and more advanced way of configuring it as well uh, thanks so thanks a lot